Good day. Um, today I'm going to show you how to create this swiper card with uh, slides. This is a cube effect. You'll be able to do different kind of effects. So we have about five cards here. Uh, because uh, we are working with the wireframing application, we do need a blank card just to refresh the swiper. So I'm going to delete the whole project and then we start from scratch in relation to doing this. So I'm going to go there, delete, and then we're going to delete the whole project. And then we go to the app wizard, we create a blank project. This is going to create a project with a header, a content, a tabs, you know, so what we're going to do is to change the title of the page to be Swiper. So our page is a header, and then we don't want the content to be there. So we're going to remove this, and we don't want the content to be centered. So we save this, and then it's going to change our heading. And then in our three structure, as you can see, this is a navigation ion nav. Uh, this is a div inside that content. This is a header, toolbar, start buttons, title, and then end buttons. So to add our swiper, we're going to add it under home content because home content is this area of the screen here. So we select the parent element and then we go to display and then display we add a swiper so this is our swiper and then what we're going to do we're going to set it to overflow visible so that the pictures uh, appear correctly the slides preview is going to be one and then we're going to make this to be a cube effect so we select cube there and make it a cube effect. So let's set our height to 300. And let's set it to 400 pixels. And let's set our width to 350 pixels. And then we're going to make this uh, swiper loop. So that's why we selected loop. We save this. So so some content in it but we don't need this so what we need to do we need to set total slides to zero so that it just clears our swiper let me refresh it clears our swiper so total slides is zero because we don't need any slides in there so that's why it is blank now but on the tree it does exist there it is now the second thing that we need to do then is to add our slides our slides are going to be sitting inside the swapper slides so we select the parent component and we go to swapper slides so this is one slide that is going to be there we're going to set the height and the width to be 100 and then what we can do is to select an image for it Let's select an image for it. Let's select this image. And then you save it. And then there is our first image. Um, what we're going to do is to duplicate these images. Um, we're going to create five slides. So we're going to select it, clone it, save it, clone it again, save it. Clone it again, save it, clone it again, save it. However, for this one, we need this one to be a refresher slide, the fifth one. So we're just going to select uh, that the swiper ID to refresh, the swiper one, and then we're going to refresh it. So what we're basically saying is on the fifth slide, 
we want it to refresh the content of the swap. We see the swap is not working now. So what we're going to do Okay, let's try this again. This is swiper slide five. The swiper slide is swiper one. And we're going to have to refresh it. So let's see this. Okay, it's working now. So this slide here, what is it going to do? It's just going to build our slide swiper. It's not going to put any content to it. That's why you're having one, two, three, four items here. You see now, because we cloned the slides on the swiper, we need to change the images. So let's go to slide two. Let's change this image to be something else. Go to our resources. Let's change it and save it. As you can see now it has changed yeah so let's also change the other images three let's change the image let's use this one and then we need to go also do the same thing for the fourth slide let's go to resources let's change it to be this one here let's save it so as you can see now we have successfully created our cube effect in our swiper of course you can change the effects like for example you go here let's change the effect to be cut for example and then you save it so if the effect now has changed to be to be cuts okay and then you can also change it to cover flow the cover flow as you can see is different from what it was okay. let's change the effect to something else cube we have done it fade You see, so it's fading. Let's change it again to be something else. Flip. There it is. The images are flipping. Let's change it again to be a slide, which is usually the default. See. So but the fact that we have made it to be looping, you know, so it's going to play by itself. Let's just wait and see it be doing that. It has uh, about 300 waiting period in it. Okay. See, it doesn't want to. Let's see what our changes are. Our flow visible with total loops. No, it's the only thing that we have changed. Um, okay, space between. So, for example, you can see two. You can see the number of slides per view is two. For example, just to change the configuration. So, you see, it's showing two slides per view, and there's a space in between them. And then if, for example, you want to show pagination, navigation, and disable pagination, you can select as navigation. Then you have our arrows showing here. And then you can also set the scroll bar. There it is at the bottom there, you see. So let's leave it to pagination as a default. And then uh, these are all the other settings that you find out from the swiper documentation that you can use. So we'll try to build them here. 
so that everything works properly. So that is how you build a swiper with the wireframing application. Thank you.